this video, I'll go through the differences of a integral keyless chuck and your standard keyed Jacobs style chuck. This Jacobs style chuck, chances are you've seen before, and it's one of the more popular models. Using the key, you can move the teeth in and out, and that grabs the drill bit. So this one goes from half inch all the way down to sixteenth of an inch. And same with this. This is the keyless chuck, so there's no key. You spin this, and it moves those keys in and out. A keyless chuck is basically the same concept of what your hand drill would have. So you only need to put your drill bit in there, and you tighten it by hand. You don't need to have a key to tighten it with. So you just put the drill in there, and whenever you tighten it, you get it hand tight, and then whenever you start drilling, if the drill bit starts to move a little bit, or as it puts pressure on it, it actually tightens the drill chuck more. Both of these drill chucks are on an R8 system. This is an R8 style mill. So it just unscrews here using a draw bar, and then it'll pop out. The main reason why I really like this is because of its speed. So say you're going from an edge finder here in the mill, to a drill bit. You need to drill in that location. Instead of having to go find the key and crank to unloosen this and put the new one in, you can just grab this, loosen it with your hand, and then pull out the edge finder, throw in the drill bit, and tighten it by hand. So, and then whenever that drill bit is in there, whenever the normal Jacob's chuck style spins, you spin it this way and the chucks go in. Whenever you spin this one this way, see how the jaws move with it? The way that the keyless chuck only needs to be hand tightened is how the jaws move. So if you look on your standard Jacobs chuck and you spin it, the jaws stay in one place and move back and forth. But the keyless chuck, whenever you spin it, the jaws move with it. So say you just put your drill bit in there and you hand tighten it down. You start drilling and then it puts pressure on these jaws. Whenever it starts putting pressure on there, it wants to spin it. And whenever this wants to spin, that's actually what drives the jaws in. So if there's pressure in the tightening direction while it's drilling, then it's going to keep pressure on the drill bit, so you only need to hand tighten it. I've been using this particular chuck, this is a Grizzly, for about a month now, and I really like it. It speeds it up a lot. And depending on if you're switching from a Jacobs chuck, these can have better run out than a standard style. Depending on the Jacobs chuck that you have, the standard style, depending on how much it's been used or what kind of quality it was made with, the keyless chuck can have better run out. And run out is how much it, it's gonna move back and forth, so like where its center line is. If you chuck a piece of precision cylinder stock and it moves back and forth, that's called run out. And you might have a little bit more run out on a standard style Jacobs chuck. Overall, I think this is a huge improvement really for any size mill. It just makes it a lot more easy to work with switching all your tools in and out, especially if you're going from an edge finder to a drill bit to an end mill. It's just great.